Now here we have a typical integral that we would do by parts. And I've got the by parts formula up here so we can compare the two. And when you have an integral like this, always let this part be u and the other part, in this case sine 2x, be the dv by dx. So, following the formula then, we have u times v. So it will be u, this part here, x, and make sure you put it in brackets. Then you have v. Now v is the integral of dv dx with respect to x. So to get v I've got to integrate sine 2x. So integrating sine 2x is going to give minus a half cosine 2x or cos 2x for short. Okay. Then we have minus the integral, minus the integral of v. Now v is the part we just integrated. So assuming that you have left that in brackets, all you've got to do is simply copy this in this part of the integral. So we have minus a half cos 2x there. Okay. And then we need to do du dx. So we need to look at u, which is x, and differentiate that with respect to x. So differentiating x with respect to x gives 1. And I've purposely put that in so that you can see, or the examiner can see, what you've done. And don't forget the dx on the end. Next, all I need to do is clean this up. So if I clean this up now, I've got minus a half x cos 2x. And then I have minus minus, which is a plus, and then half cos 2x. It's a good idea to bring the constant, in this case half, out the front of an integral sign. So we have cos 2x dx. Now, all I need to do is work out this integral on the end here. So I'm just going to copy the first term back down again as minus a half x cos 2x. And then we have the plus a half and the integral of cos 2x is a half sine 2x. And at this point put your constant of integration plus c. And looking ahead I see that this term here is a quarter sine 2x and we've got a negative term here so I prefer really to put the positive term first. So we've got a quarter sine 2x and then we have the minus a half x cos 2x and then again we've got the plus c. Now we could leave it like this but if we wanted to simplify it further, it would be a good idea to take the lowest common multiple of the 4 and the 2 out the front, and that would be 4. So if I took a quarter out the front of a bracket, then this would be simply sine 2x for the first term, and then a half is the same as 2 quarters, so I just would have minus 2x cos 2x plus c. And there you have a very straightforward example on integrating by parts.